A few months ago, ChatGPT blew up the internet. The future is now, ChatGPT. ChatGPT, maybe you've heard of it. Can it do that again? So what is ChatGPT for? What's new in it? And what cool features can you try? Let's dive in. So the first cool new feature is that ChatGPT4 can understand images now. It can do anything from analyzing objects in a photo to perceiving the context of an image. Snap a photo of your fridge and it will tell you what to cook. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Identify objects, read packaging labels, or describe your surroundings. Just imagine how helpful this feature can be. Or just regular people who struggle to understand all those cryptic meme formats. Sure, its interpretations of jokes are a bit robotic now, but that's just a start, right? Another thing that makes ChatGPT4 unrivaled is its improved memory. GPT-4 knows eight times more words than the previous version and can handle inputs of up to 25,000 words. So not only can it write essays for you, it can analyze your texts, an entire book you give it, and it will remember it. And the final advantage of GPT-4 versus GPT-3 is in solving complex problems. For example, GPT-4 was in the top 10% of test takers in the bar exam, which means it was better than 90% of actual US lawyers. And in general, it will give you a much more streamlined answer to whatever question you ask it. So how to access GPT-4? One way is to use Bing Chat. The other one is to buy a ChatGPT Plus subscription, and both of these versions don't have the image processing yet. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out our channel. It's about all things cyber and AI. See you in the next one.